Some of the biggest role models for me growing up were teachers who really valued what young people had to say through our writing, through our opinions, and certainly through our artistic endeavors. I have become a teacher, hopefully to continue that tradition. Music isn't in every school. Receiving this accolade makes me really feel even more empowered that to say that music needs to be in every school. Every student needs to have this access to arts and performance. It's not just wallpaper, it's not just a piece of art that you're creating, but it's, it's, it, it has real strong emotional connection. Nice attention. Ah! That's right. Ah! I think if there's one really important seed that I try to sow with my students, it's self-confidence. I can give them a place where they can test that confidence, where they can try that note that they haven't played before, where they can try to sing when they have been afraid of their, of their own voice or if they've been ridiculed. And so to help those students develop that sense of confidence, I know for a fact, extends into what they do outside of my classroom and outside of school. Music is also an academic pursuit that helps in so many other academic realms. A student who's studying quarter notes and eighth notes and subdivision is much more likely to get engaged in a way that oh, it starts to become magical to them. They, they, they see something in fractions that they see connected in, in what they were doing in the last period in music. I model that it's important to learn from our mistakes and to accept our mistakes. I think an, a lot in education says you have to aim for the right answer. In my classroom, my students are really aware that it's okay to make mistakes and as long as we go back and, and, and analyze them and acknowledge them and <clears throat> sometimes even laugh about them, that they're going to grow from that.